All right, everyone. <clears throat> We're going to be making a text box that can grow and shrink. And the exterior frame is going to get larger and smaller as, it's, as you need it. And the um, corners will stay the same, but the edges will repeat their pattern. So the you have a nice box that looks um, good no matter how much text you put inside of the box. Here's one that one of our students, Gabriel, made. His grows. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. Right here. Grows and you can see that the uh, picture stays the same. It looks good no matter what size. Here's another one, just a more plainish one. Alright, so what we're going to do to start out is we're going to start out with a control node. And we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, window or something. Then we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a style box. So we're starting out with a regular window. Go ahead and save this scene. Save scene as, and I'm saving mine in the scenes folder. I'm going to call, I'm going to save it under text boxes. I'm going to call this um, test text boxes. You can call yours whatever you want. This is just me making some test text boxes. Okay, so you'll notice these uh, little highlighted, or these rainbow colored looking um, textures. We're going to need one of these. So what you need to do is you need to make a folder and call it style boxes and then you're going to right click on it and you see this says new resource we want to click new resource and I want you to type in style box texture we're making a new style box texture I'm going to call this test texture. I'm going to hit save. And then you can double click on this test texture. And then over here on the right hand side, you, you've got all your stuff for your texture. This is where we're going to want to drag and drop our sprite that we've made. I, um, this should be the frame that you made the other day in class. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to just grab my Pac-Man frame and I'm going to drop it into texture. Now you're going to see this little window pop up at the bottom here under texture region. What you're going to want to do, I put on pixel snap and you can grab these little dotted lines here and you can drag them and put them in the right spot. You want to line it up right to about there like the inside edge. Your text is going to be in the center. The outside edges are going to be the part that gets repeated. Um, you can also come over to um, margins and you can set your margins this way if you need. I don't know what exactly the numbers are so let's see if this looks closer. Oops. So 20 is not quite far enough for me so maybe 25. You know it might be like 30. Let's try 30. You can do it that way, or you can drag them. Sometimes it's easier just to do it that way. Let me try 36. You know what, actually I do think it is 36. Yeah, 36 is pretty close, maybe 35. No, 36. Oh, it looks like my right side's a little bit smaller. My bottom and my right side might be a little bit bigger. So 36 and 36. Okay, so I got my little dotted lines set to where they need to go. The, the corners are going to stay the same, and then the inside part is the part that we want to repeat here. So you can either drag these dotted lines to where they need to be or you can set the margins. Then you're going to come down to where it says axis stretch. 
you don't want it to do stretch you want it to do it tiling so I'm going to set both of these to tiling so you can see what it would look like if it got larger it would tile across and then this is done I'm going to come up here to the top right there's a little uh, wrench and a screwdriver click that and hit save and it will have saved your your style box your style texture box so I'm using the test texture alright now we're gonna start adding our nodes to put in our text and our stuff here so select on your main node and then you are looking for a vertical it's a V box V box container we're gonna start with a V box container here that is and then we're going to add a panel next panel the panel is what holds the um, custom texture there so I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more we're gonna add a margin container margin containers next and then inside of that we're going to do a rich text label and I'm gonna go ahead and just put some random stuff in here hello this is my random text alright so I have some text in here I'm gonna to go to my panel and I want to give this a minimum size so I'm selected on my panel I'm gonna to go to minimum size I want this to be a minimum of 150 by we'll do 100 so now we have this panel here and it's kinda of stretched out uh, I gave it a minimum size you can do bigger smaller but we're gonna start with 150 by 100 then we're gonna to go to our margin click on your margin container and under layout you're going to select full rect and that's going to set it to the outer edges and so if you grab your vertical your vbox container if you click and drag it should start stretching it a little bit it's not filling up everywhere yet so we're still working on this so all right let's go to our panel here and custom styles right here this little box we're gonna click panel and now we're going to drag and drop our test texture into there and there we have our um, our frame but our words are not fitting where they need to go they are kind of just wherever so our, our sides are stretching it's not stretching downward and our text is out of whack so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some more settings to get this text right in the center here. So for my text, I'm going to go to the to the margin container and I'm going to custom constants and I'm going to turn these guys on and this is where you're going to you're going to slowly adjust it to where you can get the text in the center. So the top, I'm on margin container, I'm doing the top custom constant constant I'm gonna move it down till that's pretty good then I'm gonna do the left one next that fits inside of there then I'm gonna do the right one that's not bad that's probably needs to be about the same as the other so I'm gonna do 22 I'm probably gonna just go ahead and set them all to 22 then I'm gonna do the bottom one that should keep our text oops if you grab you when you when you go to stretch it make sure you grab that top one so that should keep our text inside of this box now now we got one more stretch direction though that bottom stretch direction is not working with us just quite yet so you need to go to panel and we have one here that's called size flags and you want to do expand on uh, fill and expand on both the vertical and horizontal and now let's see if this stretches in all directions it does ah but looky there we're not we don't have enough margin yet see our text isn't quite there so this right here should probably be our minimum size 
right here. So this is just like it's a it's a learning kind of curve. You can kind of see that this size right here is going to be our minimum size. So whatever that is right there. So I'm going to go to my rect here and the size is 315 by 211. So I'm going to make this my smallest possible size. 315 by 211 and now I'm going to refix my text. So I'm going to go back to my margin container and I'm going to add some more margin here. Oh, not the right one, the top one is the one I want to start with. So top one, right there, 42. So I'm going to do 42 on all of these. All right, now if we stretch it, everything should stay just fine. And maybe we want to add some more text to verify that this is working because our our stuff is a little bit bigger than we originally anticipated. So there's that. Now I'm going to stretch and see does this actually grow and shrink. Ooh, it's not really going all the way to the edge there. Let me pull it this way. There we go. I think it's because I hit enter on each one of those instead of just like typing it. Let's do it because I was hitting enter every single time. There we go. There's all my text. And now let's stretch and shrink it. Yeah, let's see, fits inside of there. Now my text is kind of like not a very good color. It's hard to read. So if you'll go to your rich text label. On the right hand side you're looking for um, fonts, custom fonts, right there. And then we also have custom colors. I can just turn on the black there and that will add different colors. Um, you can add custom fonts in but I'm not going to cover that in this video. That, that was what we were covering this so far. We have a box that stretches and changes size based upon how big you make it and the frame is going to match the size of or you know the text will match all right see you guys in the next video